It's a lady in London here. Today I'm coming to you from Scotland and I'm in the Highlands in Glencoe. I'm about to hike the path of Glencoe, which is a cone-shaped mountain, which you can see behind me here. And it offers spectacular views of the Highlands and the lochs around it. At 2,400 feet or 740 meters, it's a steep climb, but it's worth it for the views or so I've heard. Let's go take a look and see what we find. The iconic path of Glencoe can be seen from all over the local area. There's an area with a few parking spaces not far from the start of the trailhead. It's a good idea to get there early so you can get one of the spaces. Once you've parked, it's a short walk along a flat path that goes by the road until you get to the actual trailhead. You'll climb a bit of a hill and then turn right over a footbridge that runs across a stream. From there, you'll start the main part of the hike. It takes around five hours to complete, depending how fast you go. As you go, one of the things you'll notice first is that the path gets very rocky and can potentially be very wet very quickly. It's a good idea to wear good walking shoes here as the path can be very uneven and even scrambly in places. But in spite of the challenges and the often steep uphill climbs, the views are worth it. The higher up you get, the more you'll see of Loch Leven below. The mountains in the distance are spectacular too. The weather and conditions can vary depending on the time of year. I'm here in early March and there's still some snow on the ground at the higher elevations. In any case, it's always a good idea to prepare for all weather. Once you get near the summit, the path is harder to find, but it's still there, so make sure to follow it around as it winds its way up and leads you to the top. It's a bit of a scramble at the very end, but it's worth it to get to the summit. Once you're there, you'll feel like you're on top of the world. You'll have 360 degree views of the lochs and mountains around you, and it's absolutely breathtaking. For me, the descent was a little bit easier than the ascent, not only because it was downhill, but also because the sun finally came out. When you first come down from the summit, it can be a bit tricky to find the path again, so make sure to get your bearings straight. At the end, you can reward yourself with a local seafood feast at one of the many restaurants in Glencoe or Balahulish. Thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed the hike and I hope it's inspired you to climb the path of Glencoe yourself someday. It's an amazing walk and it's a great workout and the views are worth it. Happy travels. <laughs>